If you ever wonder how to paint mega scans materials over your terrain, this video will help you out. I recommend downloading the PDF guide from the link in the description to have it handy every time you start a new project. It contains key points from this video, settings, screenshots and valuable shortcuts to make your workflow easier. If you are ready, let's start painting our landscape. First, let's prepare our materials. Click this plus icon and select Quixel Bridge. We will use three materials for painting. Go surfaces, ground and over here choose three materials you wish to use to paint your landscape. I'll use these three materials. If you want, you can change the quality over here. Add them to the project. If you hit Ctrl plus space, you'll open the content drawer or content browser. And if you go to content, megascans, surfaces, you will see your downloaded materials. This Megascans folder will show up when you download content from Quixel Bridge and it will store all your Megascans assets so you can easily find them. Now go File and click New Level. Select Basic and click Create. When you create level like this, make sure to save it right away. Click File and save the current level. And name it as you wish. Now select landscape from the drop down menu or press shift 2. Over here make sure to have this enable edit layers selected. This will allow us to work with landscape layers so we can easily delete or change parts without affecting the whole landscape. As for other settings you can leave them as it is. Click create. And the next step is to create a landscape material. It's worth noting that any random material can be used with a landscape. But landscape specific material provides some nodes that can help improve the textures or in this case allows us to paint with layers. If you want to learn more about materials, you have a link in the description that will lead you to the official Unreal Material Guide. Or feel free to check my other tutorials. To create landscape material, go to your content browser. Select desired folder and right click and select material. Name it and double click it to open it. Now open the content drawer and navigate to the mega scans folder. Over here select one of your materials and drag textures from it to the graph. Use Ctrl plus left mouse click to select them all and sort textures as you see fit. I'll sort them like this. Base color, normal map and masks. This is the important part. Select all textures and on the left side under the sampler source make sure that you select shared wrap. This is important because it will allow us to use more textures in our material. The next step is to make material attributes. Right click and type in make material attributes. Connect base color to base color. Normal map to normal. And for the mask, drag the red channel to ambient occlusion and the green channel to roughness. Now we need to add texture coordinates. This will control the tiling of the texture which is super nice to have. To add it, type text chord or press U and left click. Press M and left click to create multiply and press 1 and left click to create a vector 1 node. Now right click and convert vector 1 into the parameter. You can name it tiling. If you are not familiar with the parameters please check my other videos but for now parameters will allow us to change things without getting back into the material blueprint. Don't worry you will see the power of parameters later in the video. Connect the nodes And don't forget to apply and save everything. Now we want to do this for all other textures we have. 
It's simple, just select the texture and hit Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. Open the content drawer. You can dock it in a layout to better see the properties. Now select the first texture and make sure it's selected. Go to the second material that we downloaded. Select the first texture. Now click Use Selected Asset from the Content Browser. This will replace the selected texture. Now select the normal map and replace it with the second one. And the same thing with masks. Don't forget to save your project, just in case. Now try and do this with the third material. Select the textures and replace them with our third material. Ok, now we need to connect the multiply node with texture UVs. You can comment on sections to make them more readable. Just select the textures and hit C on your keyboard and name it accordingly. To be able to paint on our landscape we need to add a layer blend node. This will allow the blending of multiple textures or material networks so they can be used as a landscape layers. Just right click and type in landscape layer blend. Select it and on the left side you will see some properties. Since we have three layers we will add three elements by clicking the plus button. And now rename it as you wish. I'll go with simple 1, 2 and 3. Just connect the base color to the layers you created. To connect layer blends to our material, select anywhere on the empty space and make sure to click this Use Material Attributes. And now you can connect it easily. And don't forget to apply and save your work. To use this, first let's create a material instance. For those who are unfamiliar with the instancing, Unreal Engine says. Material instancing is used to change the appearance of a material without incurring an expensive recompilation of the material. In a normal language it means that we can change our material as we want and save time and computer resources. To create an instance go to your content folder where you created material. Right click on it and select create a material instance. We now have our master material and its instance. We need to apply this instance to our landscape. Select landscape in the outliner. And under landscape material choose our landscape instance. And as you can see everything is dark. This is because the Unreal Engine doesn't get the layer info. To fix this go to the landscape tool. Under paint you can see the layers that we created in the material editor. Click this plus button on every layer and save it. If you select your layer, you can paint with it. We can see that we have a textures but they are so tiny and don't look realistic or good.
To change that, go to your content and over here open the material instance. You can see the tiling option here. If you remember, this is the parameter that we created earlier. And now if you change numbers, we can easily change the size of the texture. This is called material instancing, where we change things without touching the original material. To paint over the landscape, select the layer and just paint it. If you want to change uh, the size of uh, material, just uh, change the size of the tiling and you will be fine. If you find this tutorial helpful, drop some comments below or subscribe to get notified about a new tutorial every week. And be sure to take it slow, don't worry and keep learning because the Unreal Engine is awesome. See you in some other video, bye bye.